I was the convener for the role of media and communications in disaster preparedness and risk, and my name is Marku Hakkinen, and I'd like to go over some of the key points of our session. Um, we had four speakers who were looking at the role of media in disaster preparedness and risk, and I can go over some of the key points from each of the speakers. Uh, Magnus Johansson from Sweden was talking about the Natural Hazards Information System, a new resource for uh, delivering information about disasters in Sweden. And one of the key points that he made was being able to publicize lessons learned from the disasters and really to stress the role of the importance of learning from disasters. And so that was a very important contribution from Magnus. Uh, Ashok Bharti from Inmarsat was talking about the availability of satellite communications technology and how that plays a very key role in being able to set up communications with disaster regions. And the next uh, contributor was Helena Zem from the University of Zurich. And she and the following speaker from Turkey looked at how media, the newspapers, um, present information about disasters. And it was a very interesting longitudinal look at disasters from the early part of the last century up to present day. And the disasters really were covered in different ways over time from very practical descriptive information about what happened during the disaster up through very sensationalistic uh, presentations. Um, the point made by Nikati Dedriagu from Turkey in his presentation, which is somewhat similar to the conclusions, was that uh, preparedness was really receiving very little coverage in the news media. And so I think that's a very key point to take back and try to look at how media can better um, present information about preparedness, not just report on the sensational aspects of disasters.